Ready or not, millions of cicadas will take over the Miami Valley this month. And Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith is digging deeper, literally, into the impact their emergence will soon have. Right now, I am enjoying a peaceful walk here at Germantown Metro Park, but looking along the edges of the trail, you can spot signs of the cicada invasion. And you can see the tunnel that they're coming out of. They're still patiently waiting for a soil temperature of 64 degrees. Typically what you see is a very slow roll and all of a sudden, you know, large numbers of the first species. When they emerge, it'll be chaotic for a while. There's going to be lots of chirping and kind of buzzing noises going on. But you know, wildlife goes crazy. Birds, anything that will eat meat will try to eat cicadas. They aren't going to harm you, so they can't bite or sting. They don't carry any kind of disease. While they're out, they do a little bit of damage to trees. They will actually lay their eggs in the ends of branches. Um, and so when that happens, um, sometimes the branch will break. As a matter of fact, when that tip of the twig drops off, the buds that are in the back part of that uh, will sprout two different new twigs. So you get denser canopies. That's not a bad thing. Really, it's a kind of a natural pruning kind of situation, so it's not something to really have to be concerned about if you see it in your own backyard or in our park. The cicadas will be invading the Miami Valley for about six weeks once they emerge. For Storm Team 2, I'm meteorologist Carly Smith.